there's something about Mississippi that 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 you just can't get out of your out of your system. <laughs> you know, all those years in New York, it's like the longer I lived there, the more I found myself thinking about Mississippi. And one morning it was like I just woke up and it's like I guess I'm going back. <laughs> There's no other choice at this point. It just it had taken a hold of me. I had been coming to Greenwood uh, for business and other things and, and gotten to know a few people. Uh, and just, it felt different. It felt right. And uh, I think we, yeah. uh, and I had a business opportunity, so I moved here. And can you join me about a year later? A year later, I showed up. And we've been here ever since, and we love it. It's a fantastic town. For a small town in Mississippi, it seems very progressive, at least people's attitudes. Yeah. Um, I mean, obviously there are some of the same problems that you have anywhere, but uh, you know, the people that we've met, and McKinney and I have been out, and we both have public jobs here, and uh, we have, uh, we've never experienced anything. Everyone has been very accepting and, and, uh, and have embraced us, I believe. Uh, the people in the Delta sort of have this reputation for being a little bit different, a little more liberal, a little more sort of, you know, eccentric. Maybe that... Eccentric was what I was trying to... <laughs> word I was looking for. <laughs> I run a cafe here in town, small little cafe. Uh, I guess you could say I'm the soup Nazi of Greenwood. Uh, I do a different... <laughs> best soup in town. And uh, I'm an architect. Uh, I have a... Uh, an office here. Uh, uh, my partner, we've been doing it now for 10 years. Actually, when we moved to Greenwood, that was one of the reasons, because I wanted to start a business, and uh, it seemed like uh, it seemed like the right place. Uh, one of the things that is, we found interesting about Greenwood when we first moved here is there's there are quite a few uh, gay couples uh, open. I mean, they're, for a small town, there seems to be a lot of, uh, there, there are a lot of uh, LGBT people here and they're living openly and they have, you know, yeah. positions in government and all over and it, for a small town that seems a little bit unusual for everybody to be that comfortable. I've always lived in small towns, but I found Greenwood as far as a small town, I mean, you, you go in the grocery store and you see everybody you run into that you know and, you know, you speak and everybody is courteous. And Are we just... going to be able to live in a small town in Mississippi? without being threatened or vandalized. We've never experienced any type of that. So it's, it's been good.